What does your jumping spider's behaviour mean? Watch this video to find out. Hello everyone and welcome back to Spoodapod. I'm David and today we are doing a jumping spider behaviour guide. It's just a guide to help you understand what your jumping spider's behaviour means. Now this is just a guide, there aren't many scientific studies on this, but a lot of people, a lot of us in the community have observed our jumping spiders and we've come to a consensus on what means what. Some behaviours are obvious, some are less so. Now this is only a guide and it will vary between different types of species and your individual spider. Even individual spiders can have different behaviours and different nuances. But as a guide, hopefully it's been helpful to you, especially if you're a new owner and you're not sure what means what. So let's start with a nice easy one and that is roaming, where your jumping spider is exploring its habitat, it's climbing around, it's moving around. Generally this just means that they're hunting or they're exploring their environment. We call it roaming. They roam around, they check things out, they're just basically exploring their boundaries and making sure that their territory is nice and safe and there isn't any tasty snack they can pounce on. Now the next behaviour, it's one of the ones I like most, is the sudden stare. Your jumping spider will be minding its own business, then suddenly it'll whip its head round and look at you. Generally this means it's on alert or it's curious about you. If your jumping spider continues to stare at you, it's best maybe to back away or stay still because you may scare it further, especially if it's new in your home. However, if it starts roaming around again and going back to normal business, that's completely fine, you just go about your business. It is quite an interesting one. I do like it when our jumpy spiders just stop what they're doing and stare at us. But generally, they'll just go back to roaming and it'll just be their normal behavior. Now, if your jumping spider is hiding lots and it's tucking its feet in, not completely tucking them underneath, but tucking up, making itself look small, that is generally a defensive and hiding behavior. It's nervous, it's scared of its environment, it's trying to camouflage itself and make itself look small from predators. If your spider is doing this often, it may be worth giving it more space, letting it settle in because it tends to be a more common behaviour of spiders who have just come into your house. But eventually they will settle in, they'll get used to things and they will start roaming around and going back to normal. Jumping spiders are spiders, so the next behaviour is going to be no surprise and that is webbing. Jumping spiders will spend a lot of time webbing and making hammocks. It's really important when they are making their hammocks you don't disturb them and you let them get on with it. It's also really important to let them build their hammocks and not to destroy them afterwards because that's basically their house, within their house, and you want them to be comfortable and able to rest in them. The next behaviour I just labelled hammock sitting, it basically means that when your spider's just sat in its hammock and it's resting. Generally your spider will sit in its hammock to relax or sleep and rest, that's quite normal. Sometimes they will close their hammocks as well and when they close their hammocks generally could mean they're just going to be resting for a bit longer or it could mean they're going to pre-molt or molting. Most jumping spiders will prefer to molt in their hammock so it's important that you don't disturb them when they're doing so. Next one is foot raising. Your jumping spider will raise its little feet and it will kind of tap things and explore. This is basically just an exploration behavior. They're just testing their environment, testing for where their webs are and testing to see if they have stable footing. If you see foot raising combined with striking or backing away, that generally means your spider's on the defense or it's preparing to pounce. If your spider does this, it's important to back away if you're offering food prey or just leave it still and let it pounce on it and hunt it. If it continues to give you, a, I think it's called a threat posture, then make sure you do just change the environment by moving away or putting the prey elsewhere for it to hunt in its own time. So if you constantly encourage this behavior, you're going to see more of it and your spider will obviously get nervous of you and be offering you this posture every time you approach it. Now the next one, if your spider suddenly looks over at you like the sudden stare and also starts raising its feet or moving its feet around turning, that could be a sign it's about to jump. Jumpy spiders, like their name implies, do like to jump. So if they're about to jump, you kind of want to make sure they're not going to be jumping out of their enclosure or they're going to be jumping somewhere safe. Next behaviour is basking. If you see your jumping spider just sat on one of its logs or one of its ornaments and it's not moving very much and it's nice and warm there, the chances are it's just basking and it's taking in heat. These guys do love their heat and they will gravitate towards heat sources. So generally it's okay to let them do so. Just don't want to get overheated and make sure there is somewhere shady they can go to if they need to. Next behaviour, a really obvious one, and that is cleaning. If you see your jumpy spider putting its little feet in its mouth or moving its little pedipalps over its chelicerae, those little fangs, it's just cleaning itself. It's cleaning off any food particles, absorbing any moisture, just making sure that those feet stay nice and sticky so it can actually stick to the walls and the other things it needs to in its environment. The last behaviour I want to explore with you is wiggling the pedipalps. The pedipalps, those little things, are just in front of their chelicerae and fangs and it's very cute. I love seeing this behaviour. Basically it means that your jumping spider is content and it's curious about things. 
Blossom, one of our jumpy spiders, will constantly wiggle her petty palps if she's staring at you. It's nothing to be worried about, it's just a normal behaviour and something they do as part of their natural repertoire of natural behaviours. So guys, that's it. That's a quick guide to common jumping spider behaviours. There are probably plenty more and I will do a part two if you guys want to or if you want to explore more. Are there any other jumping spider behaviours I've missed? Please do feel free to comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. But in the meantime, take care and see you later.